Hey guys, welcome to Freedom Tutorials. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to block all adult websites and all of those bad stuff on your Apple iPhone. One of my favorite saints, St. Saint Therese of Lisieux, says that in some temptations, the only solution is to escape, to not be ashamed to escape, to recognize that we are weak and we have to escape. So this uh, horrible evil that we're trying to block today is super destructive, super harmful to our spiritual life, our mental health, and just all that other stuff. It's not good. So yeah, it's, it's best to escape this evil. So that's what we're going to be trying to do today by blocking it on our iPhone completely uh, with absolutely no bypass possible, as far as I know. The solution I'm going to be showing you today isn't going to cost any money at all. It's completely free. Um, so you can go into it with that expectation. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so first to start off with, I'm going to show you one solution that uh, might be enough for you, but for some people it might not be enough. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings here, and then you're going to scroll down until you see screen time. And then once you're in screen time, scroll down to this restrictions tab. Tap on the content and privacy restrictions. And then you're going to click on App Store Media Web and Games. And then right here under Web Content, click on that. And by default, it will be set to unrestricted. But you want to set it to limit adult websites. Or you can do only approved websites, but I would just do limit adult websites. That should be good enough. And you can also add more websites down here if you want. However, the problem with this is that if you know the screen time passcode, then you're able to change it easily. And if you don't know the screen time passcode, you can go over here to change screen time passcode. And then you can click forgot passcode. And now you can use your Apple ID email to make a new password. And there's just a whole process here that you can go through and experiment with. If you want a trusted family member or a friend to change your Apple ID password so you don't know it, um, that's a good idea that could work. But there is also the forgot password button even for the Apple ID. And then it also goes through another process here where you have to enter your Apple ID email or phone number. And then once you do that, it's gonna ask for like a second like verification or whatever and ask for a trusted phone number that you already have put into your Apple ID. So then after doing this, you can send the code to this trusted phone number. So if you actually make this phone number someone like a trusted family member or friend, this could be a good way to prevent bypass. However, if you press can't use this number, then eventually you'll be able to start account recovery and that'll take a few days. And after a few days, um, if you get approved by Apple, then you will be able to change your password by yourself or something like that. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but that's what I think. You can experiment with it more if you want. However, another thing about that trusted number thing is if you go to your Apple ID account, then click on sign in and security, and then go here to two-factor authentication, and then you have the trusted phone number right here. If you click on it, then you have the option to remove from account, and you'll have to add a new phone number if you do this, but this could possibly be a way to bypass it as well. So you just have to know what's going to work for you. And if you know that this method that I'm showing you is going to be a way that you're able to bypass it, then we're going to give you another method here in a second. So this next step that we're going to be doing, this is going to be the rest of the video. So for the second method, essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be resetting our phone completely, factory resetting it and then setting it up into supervised mode. So then on the Mac, we can use this app called Apple Configurator, and we'll be able to limit all adult websites using this app. We're gonna need a Mac Apple computer. This computer is gonna be very important. It's gonna be very important that you don't have access to this all the time. So if you have a trusted family member or friend who uh, has the password to get into the computer, that would be amazing. And also, if you guys saw my other video about blocking these websites on Windows computers, I'm using the same app that I used on the Windows called Blocker X. And you, that's also an iOS app, so you can download that, sign in with the same account if you did that. And you can allow it to have access to your screen time here. 
But like I said, this app is not necessary. You should only need the restrictions from the Apple Configurator app, like I was saying. But I just have the Blocker X app as like a backup since I already paid for it for the Windows. So you can use that if you want as well. But essentially what we're going to be doing is first you need to go to the App Store and search up this app called Apple Configurator. And then this is it right here, this purple one. Uh, you can go ahead and download this. I already have it downloaded. So once you have it downloaded, you're good to go. And what this is going to allow us to do is we're going to be setting up our iPhone into supervised mode, which does mean we have to do a complete factory reset on this. But blocking these websites, in my opinion, is totally worth it, in my opinion, just to have it blocked permanently in no way around it that I know of. With that being said, though, there's a couple things we're going to have to make sure we do before we factory reset. So first, we're going to go to our iCloud in the settings. And then you can look down here. And then make sure that everything is backed up into your iCloud. Make sure you have all your data backed up to the cloud. This will make it so after we reset the phone, we'll be able to get everything back exactly how it was. Now, I'll also be following along with this YouTube tutorial, which is basically going to be the bulk of this video. I'm basically copying this guy. So I'll leave a link to this video in the description below. He probably will do a better job at explaining some of the things. So I would recommend checking that out as well if you need extra help with any of these steps. But basically, this video only goes into the extent of getting it set up. And then once we get it set up, I'll show you which settings we need to turn on in order to block all these websites and prevent you from bypassing it. Now the next step that you're gonna wanna do is to power off the phone completely because if you have Find My enabled, then you're gonna wanna turn off Find My for this phone. So I'm gonna slide the power off and then on a different device, we're gonna go to icloud.com slash find and then you're gonna sign into your account if you're not already. And now once you're here, you're going to see all your devices that are on Find My. I personally don't have my phone on Find My, so I don't have to do this step at all. But let's say this was your phone right here. You would click on it, and then you would click Erase. And then just follow the steps after that, and just make sure it's removed completely. And like this guy over here says, if you see this message will be removed on blank date, then that's good. You're good to go. So then you can close this window. Okay, so your next step is going to be to open the Apple Configurator app. So let's go ahead and open the Apple Configurator app. We're going to click Agree. All right, welcome. Let's get started. All right, here we are. So now we're going to go ahead and turn my phone back on. And then at the same time, we're also going to be plugging this in. And this charger is getting connected all the way to the computer. So we're connecting the phone to the computer. Then we can go ahead and open up the phone. So you might have a message appear that says, do you want to trust this computer or not? You're going to want to say trust. I didn't get that message for some reason, but that's okay. All right, now once you're at this screen, you can see that it's like mirroring my phone kind of. So we're going to click on the phone right here so it's highlighted. Then up here, we're going to click prepare. And now that we're here, we're going to leave it on manual configuration. And then we're going to click on Supervised Devices, and then leave this other one also checked, Allow Devices to Pair with Other Computers. Then click Next. And then keep it on this right here. Do not enroll in MDM. Make sure it's set to that. Next. Uh, this part you can skip. And then here, this is creating an organization. So this app is like made for like schools and stuff to like supervise like their devices or whatever for the kids like in businesses. So you can just put in whatever you want here. I'm going to name it Freedom for Christ. And we'll click Next. And then right here, we're going to say Generate a New Supervision Identity. And then click Next. Uh, this part, we can leave it how it is. And now we're going to click Prepare. And then put in your password. All right, guys. So after pressing Prepare, uh, this message might pop up on the screen. It's asking if you want to erase all content and like try it again. It's like a weird message. It's saying it's already been prepared, but this is our first time. 
So it shouldn't really be saying this, or I don't really know why it's saying this, but regardless, press erase. And now we're just going to wait for a while. And you can see my phone just powered off. And it's doing some sort of update thing. Alright, so it looks like it finished up. Okay, now before we go through the initial setup and stuff, I do want to explain something. In his video, he encountered this error right here. And some of you might encounter this as well. You can go look at the video if you want more details. But basically all he did is he pressed stop. And then he went ahead and followed the same steps he did before to prepare it. So he basically just redid everything and the second time it worked for him. But now let's go ahead and set up the phone. All right, so let's go ahead and set up the phone here. It says hello again, let's get rid of that. All right, so I'm just gonna go through these pretty easily. We're just gonna do English, select the country, here we go. So all this is pretty, uh, pretty basic. You can just go through it on your own. All right guys, so if you get this screen right here where it's saying the iPhone is partially set up, then we are gonna do erase and start over. It says this is gonna erase our iPhone settings to factory defaults, and we're gonna say yes. Now I'm not entirely sure if this is necessary, but I think this will just help us play it safe. All right, so now it's rebooting, I guess, again. All right, so now it's making me go through all this again once it booted up. So I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, if we get to this screen, we're gonna set up without another device. All right, now it says it's gonna take a few minutes to activate the phone. All right, so then once we get to this screen where it's asking to transfer apps and data, we're gonna make sure to click don't transfer anything. So now you're gonna sign into your Apple ID account like usual, the same one you've been using. Okay, now it's asking me for my old password for all the iCloud data. So I'm just gonna put in my old password. All right, so now that we're at this screen, we're gonna click customize because we don't want any of the screen time settings or anything like that to be transferred over because it might screw up some things with the Apple configurator, so we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna click Customize. And then Screen Time, we have to make sure to set it up later in Settings, because we don't want anything to be transferred over from before. And here we are. Now, we made it to my new iPhone. But now, to make sure that all this worked, we're gonna to go to the Settings app. Okay, so at the top here, you're supposed to see a little message that says that this phone is supervised, but for me, I don't have this message. So if you guys also don't have the message, then what you're gonna have to do is just redo the entire process over again. So we're gonna go over here and click prepare and go through all of this again. So if it's saying that it's unable to activate the phone because it's locked, then you can see all these messages on here. So it's saying that you can either continue on the phone over here or you can use the finder. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the finder right here and then just find the phone, the iPhone right here. And then it says it's activating. And then I have to put in my email and password for Apple ID. Then I'm pressing continue. Okay, now it's it just showed up briefly for a moment that's been unlocked. So now we can close out of this and press try again. All right, so that seemed like it worked. We got a blank slate. So let's go ahead and go through all these settings again. All right, let's go into settings now and see if it worked. And awesome, now it worked. So you can see this message right at the top. This iPhone is supervised and managed by Freedom for Christ, which is the organization name. So once you see this message, that means you're good to go. Your iPhone is now supervised. And now we're gonna go over to our Mac over here. Go to Apple Configurator, and we're going to click File, New Profile. And this is basically where you're going to be controlling everything that is uh, restricted on the Apple phone. So on this first page right here, we can just change the name. This is going to be the name of the profile, so I'm just going to name it the same as before. Freedom for Christ Configurator, basically the same as before, and then down here at security, we are gonna click this. You can either do with authorization and put in a password, or you can do never. I'm gonna do never. Basically what this does is this is gonna prevent uh, you from turning off the profile and the, all the restrictions from the configurator. It's gonna prevent you from turning that off from the actual phone itself. Next, you're gonna go into restrictions, and here it's gonna give you a long list of restrictions that you can do. 
Now you can go ahead and read through all these if you want to do more stuff other than just block the websites and whatnot. And also the video that I told you about goes over some stuff about restricting apps and just other useful things like that. It goes over a couple features. So you can watch that video if you want to learn more about it. All right, so once you're in this big list here of restrictions, there's only really two that we care about. So we're gonna scroll down until we find allow erase all content and settings and disallow that, check it off. And then also right here, allow adding VPN configurations. We're gonna check that off as well. Now I'm pretty sure this is gonna disallow you from using any VPNs to override uh, what the limiting adult websites is doing on here, which I'll show you in a second. But if this isn't the solution, um, then there's also a VPN tab here. So then you can also mess around with stuff in there. But I'm pretty sure this will do the trick for you. And then once we're done with that, if we scroll back to the top, we have these three options that up here. I'm going to click on media content. And then right at the bottom here, I'm just going to disallow this. So then after we're done with those two, then we're going to go over to the side here to content filter. And then go here, click configure. And then this is what we're actually going to be changing. So right here, you want it set on built-in limit adult content. And this is what's going to be limiting all your adult content on your phone. So it won't be accessible at all. So now once we finish this, we can go up to file and then save. And I'm just going to save it as this. And we're going to put in our documents and we're going to save that. All right, now that we have that saved, I'm just going to minimize it. And we're going to go over here. We're going to click on our phone thing right here. Just highlight it, then right click and hover over add and then go to profiles. And then what we just put in, what we just made, we're going to add that right here. And if you ever want to edit anything in the configurator, you just go to file, go to open and then open the configurator. And you can just make your changes as you see fit. And so then after you're done with that, you can X out of it. Now in order to apply those changes, we actually have to click on this and right click it and then click remove. We're going to be removing the profile that we have because it doesn't make the changes until we remove it and then re add it back. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it. It says, do I want to permanently remove it? And I'm going to say yes, but we can just add it right back. So we're going to go ahead now and add it back. And there we go, it's added back. And then after you add it back, that's all you have to do. You're done, you're good, you're good to go. Bada bing, bada boom, here we go. So yeah, guys, that is all I have for this video. I really hope this guide helped you out. Yeah, just make sure you have your Mac computer under a password by a trusted family member or friend. You should be good to go. You won't be able to change anything. And as long as you backed up all your data to the cloud, everything should come back automatically for you. So yeah, that's all I got. Uh, thank you for watching Freedom Tutorials. Follow God closely, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.